Yeah, today marks one year since this historic launch of the International Space Station. On board was a history-making NASA astronaut from Petaluma. Nicole Mann became the first Native American woman to go into space with that launch. She's also a Stanford and U.S. Navy Academy graduate. She recently caught up with her Betty Yu and told her what she wants to do next and what she wants the next generation to know. Well, it's a very small thing because space is uh, limited on the International Space Station. And here we come through. First one through the hatch is going to be Nicole Mann, commander of Dragon. And now the first Native American woman. Nicole Mann returned to Earth earlier this year after spending six months aboard the International Space Station. We need to work out about two hours a day, which is so important because if you did it, you would lose your muscle mass. As the first Native American woman in space, she told a crowd in her hometown of Petaluma she wants to inspire others to take the small steps that lead to giant leaps. I think there's a great responsibility that comes with that, and it goes back to communicating with the younger generation, and especially young indigenous uh, women and, and kids throughout the world, that unfortunately maybe they live in an area where they don't realize that we have astronauts living in space continuously for over 23 years. So honored just to be a part of it. Nicole like conducted hundreds of experiments, including cardiovascular health tests and technology demonstrations alongside her crew. Uh, the food is mainly uh, foam stabilized food, like a military MRE, and also free. She entertained the crowd with stories about everyday life. How young were you when you had this dream as a girl growing up in Petaluma? Uh, for actually, for me, it wasn't until later on in life. So I was interested in math and science and, and space as a kid, but I had never met an astronaut. There were many young people in the audience who did get to meet an astronaut, including 15 year old sophomore Emily Benzik. It's really impressive that she was able to go off and do this, and it like gives me hope that maybe I can go off and do something really important as well. I'm interested in engineering fields and space and things like that. Nicole said she was able to overcome any self-doubt or barriers along the way with the support of her family that lives in the Petaluma Roner Park area. Nicole's father was in attendance. Just being there and supporting her, it wasn't really anything I did. It's just being a sounding board. Did you think? that this would be what your daughter would become? Well, it's funny that, that her mother told her when she was pretty young, she said, someday you'll be famous. So I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Nicole lives in Houston, where she trains. She said she would love to return to the International Space Station in a few years, or even the moon as part of NASA's Artemis mission. If you're curious about what she missed the most while she was in space. You can't smell the ocean, you can't smell the breeze. You can't smell your food. You can if you put it very close to your nose. Uh, so I missed uh, smells and I missed the uh, wind, uh, feeling the wind on your face. Well, 2023, by the way, marks 50 years of women flying in the Navy.